Okay, I'm back. <coughs> Doing my final one for today. Um, another request. It was, uh, instead of um, using pouring uh, medium, uh, I'm going to be using PVA glue. And it's the same as Elmer's glue and all those, everything that's white. And um, when it dries, it's transparent. You can use this. So it's pretty cheap. This is a liter of PVA glue is like six euros. And a liter of pouring medium is 28 euros. So this is very cheap. And we'll see how it goes, what it does. And I thought I'd show you the mixing. So I have some yellow. This is only paint. And now I'll be adding the uh, glue. And I'll be putting in, oops, I'm all already making a mess. I'll be putting in about, I'd say, 20%. That's what I usually do with the pouring medium. So that's 20%. And then adding the water. And really mixing it up. I'll try to do this real fast. That's why I only have four colors. And looking for the buildup and looking for how it pours when I hold it vertical. A little bit thick, but I'm not sure what that PVA glue is doing. <coughs> and I think I have to really do this quick because I don't know, it, it, it looks a bit gooey. So I'm using between 20 and 30 percent, but that's usually what I use when I do the pouring medium. So making sure that I don't have any bumps and lumps. That's pretty thick. I think, um, uh, judging by the consistency, I think you do have to put in a little bit more water when using the glue than when using the pouring medium. It's still uh, pretty thick. So I'm gonna give it another stir when I add the silicone. So if there is any other experiments that you'd like me to do with paint, um, <laughs> then um, just uh, put it in the comments. And if it's something I uh, that I think I'd like to do, then I'll just do it. Yeah, it, it is a little um, harder to determine the thickness of the paint because the glue somehow is a little sticky. Yep, but we'll see. Here you can see the um, Van Dyke brown that I use, and on the stick you see what I add to make it chocolate colored. So it's a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, and a little bit of orange. Nice and chocolatey. Putting in the PVA glue, and I'm wondering how this is going to dry, and will it be shiny, or will it be not shiny? I'm looking for the word for, uh, you have glossy and you have matte, do you call it matte? We call it matte.
mat en glanzend. That's how we call it. Glossy is glanzend. And the other is mat. So you're learning a little bit of Dutch as we go along. Canvas. In Dutch it's canvas. Almost the same. Okay, I think we're there. It's going to be pouring a little bit different. I'm pretty sure about that. Because it's sort of like that really cheap acrylic paint that went all like jello. Okay, we got that. Now I'm going to be adding this silicone. But like the shorter, shorter sprays, like I normally do with my normal uh, art. It's so stinky. I don't like the vapors. So mix that in. And how will I put it on the canvas? I'm not sure yet. Shall we do another spinner? Or shall we just do a dirty cup? I don't think I have enough paint, but it's an experiment, right? So maybe I'll mix up some more paint if I don't have enough. I think we'll do a dirty cup. Yes, we will. So here we go. Oh, I'm swaying. Why is it swaying like that? Sorry about that. Probably something I did. That's the brown. Then adding some yellow, some more brown. Then I'd like to give it a little swirl, very slow. And then a lot of purple. A lot of purple. Then another, the last of the yellow. On top of the purple. That's that. And then the last of the brown. Then picking up my canvas, putting it on top in the middle, turning it around so there's nothing escaping. That's good. to get the palette knife for the sides okay here we go so what I have in here is four colors white Van Dyke brown cadmium yellow deep and purple and uh, it's all based on PVA glue so no pouring medium in it I did put in the silicone just like I normally do with all my other work nothing different there and I'm doing this flip cup and let's take it off I'll show you up close right now ooh I like that that's pretty that is pretty I'd like some more over here. Like that. 
and I do have to tilt it sorry to say I'd like to keep that dark bed in there it is totally different from what I normally do oops there goes I guess I'll have to catch it in a cup that's it and down that way Yeah, there's something happening to the middle. I'll show you. See that? Where it's all starting to go get apart. I'll put a torch on it. Well, it is um, very torchable, as you can see, very torchable, and I do like the structure of the cells. I'm not going to dink around with that anymore, I'm going to make some more paint for the uh, sides, because I do think this is very pretty. So what, what I see, what I'm observing, oh wait a minute, there's a bit there, I don't like, come on, do something, that isn't doing much. Okay, what I see is, and I'll try to get it up close so you can also see it, but this, there is a very, very um, tight, um, the, the veins you see are really tight, straight, and very well deformed. And I'm liking this, this little wavy bit has really tiny cells, and these have the big cells. And up here you see something going on. Um, I find it pretty interesting. I still like this, but if you can see this, if it's not glaring, you can already see that the veins are starting to deteriorate, falling apart. That's what I don't like. I have to go fix the water. Oh, I hate it that I don't have, the, have any more paint. I could do it with this though. I think so. And I'll just pour it off the other way. See now I'm mumbling again. I'm trying to I'm trying to really not mumble. But when something like this happens, I'm just totally into it. I'm pretty zen. Okay, let it roll down, come on. I can help it on a little bit. And then... Oops. Yeah, I will have to mix some more paint, I'm pretty sure. Doesn't matter how I'm going to help this, there's not enough paint to cover the canvas. Let me see how much is left in here.
pull it off just a little bit. Then a little torching. That's nice. That's good. But I still don't have enough for the side, so well. This is my experiment with the PVA glue, and I'll, I'll keep it, I'll uh, let it dry, and when it's dry I'll make some pictures and show you. I even like that where it sort of dra goes dragging, I like it. So this is my last uh, video for today, I'll be putting it on uh, YouTube in uh, about an hour. You'll see it uh, appear. And um, please, please tell me if you want me to do more uh, paintings. Because I was just thinking, you know, do two on Saturday and then one on Monday and one on Wednesday. But I've got a lot of people saying, you know, we're just waiting for you to post something. So if it's not spamming you guys, put it in the comments. Just say, keep them coming and I will do my best to make more videos. I know that some people don't watch them, you know, for the, um, for, how do you call it, for the way I do it, but more for the relaxation. So that's okay. I was planning on doing uh, some sort of a satisfying video one of these days where I show uh, acrylic paint going into water and filming that slow motion and that kind of stuff so if that's something you'd like to see just tell me because my hands are itching to do that so see you on the next video and thanks for